Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, it's Wednesday, the 3rd of March, and I'm just making this quick video based on the title you see. Um, I want to make sure, as far as this Zoom class for the Will of the Prophet that comes, is uh, fully clarified. Uh, just so you guys know, um, I am trying to have the first class this Saturday. And um, I'm not sure what time yet. I'm gonna make that up to the discretion of people who want to come. I'm gonna take a poll for that. You're gonna see that after this video. Just please look at the look at the community post that I post. Please check out the community post. Please check out the community post. Please check out the community post. You won't see the times here. I'm asking you guys on the community post, please check this out. So to get that out the way, um, who is involved in who what is who is this for what body of people right what does this mean the will of the prophetic in a nutshell is for people who know okay it's for those who know i mean really know that you have a prophetic gifting you've been having some dreams that literally are prophecies you may have god prophesy in your dreams something that comes to pass or happens and this has happened over and over and over and over for you as far as else who is involved of course if you know you're a prophet if you know you're a prophetess if you know you're a seer of course that is already a guarantee now this is where you have to be discernful now god can give a prophetic utterance to anybody um it can be to an apostle an evangelist, a teacher, can have a gifting in the prophetic. A pastor can have a gifting in the prophetic. We've seen that many times, right? You may not even have a title, and you know that God begins to speak to you and give you messages in your journal or has you become a watchman on the wall and you are prophesying and having prophetic visions, open-eyed visions, closed-eyed visions. Open-eyed visions are when you're awake, closed-eyed visions are when you're sleeping, okay? Um, you may have certain just unctions. The Holy Spirit speaks by unctions and speaks by movement. The Holy Spirit doesn't have to speak audibly. He will move upon you and you will know things. Sometimes you may be moved upon by the Holy Ghost multiple times. Remember, I'm saying this, this is a pattern that happens. Okay. This isn't just like God used you once, like he used Saul and he began to prophesy with the prophets and how, and they were saying in the Old Testament, is Saul now a prophet because he's prophesying with the prophets? It was a positional shift and an impartation God gave to him. The anointing power of Saul really wasn't to be a prophet, but was to be a king, okay? But he began to prophesy, right? I'm not talking about a grace where God does it. No, I'm talking about where you are positioned. You are positioned. All right, I'll say it again. You are positioned by God as a watchman and you are getting prophetic visions, dreams, knowledge. You are a prophet of the Lord and you have been used to prophesy, to speak things such as that, to lay hands and heal such as that. I'm not talking about healers, no. Okay, not them. You could be a seer who is also a prophet who by vision is revealed the revelations of God's heart and the revelations of Jesus Christ, right? Um, did I cover? So that is good, good, good. Yeah, I covered everything as far as who is involved. It's a pattern, okay? This isn't just one thing. This isn't just one event where God showed me something. No, I'm, I'm in a pattern where God keeps showing me the future or has me prophesy for someone else or when I'm praying for somebody, I always seem to have a word for them of their life going forward or where they need to shift or God begins to show me and give me a revelation about what's going on and what God's instructions are for them, right? I say that because many times intercessors are prophets without a title. They don't, they haven't understood where they are, but yet through intercession, God is manifesting the prophetic gifting. These are the ones I'm speaking to, all right? And if you're not in this lane with the Lord, um, or if you're unsure, please pray about this, okay? Please pray about this. I will be doing a Zoom class. Um, 
for those who are going to be about it, um, I'm looking to do it Saturday. I have not come up with the schedule just yet because I'm once again, I'm going to take a poll for you guys to decide. Um, this may be a three class session on Zoom. All right. Um, the reason for the prophetic all right, this whole reason of this is because God came to me and he spoke to me and said, the, the will of the prophetic is where I want you to teach next, Zach. And I said, okay, cool, wonderful. And he showed me, I want people to operate smoother, easier, but also live in this environment. Live in this environment. If, you're up, if you have a prophetic gifting, if you're operating as a prophet, a prophetess, a seer, if you're a teacher with a teacher prophet, let's just say that, a pastor prophet, a apostle prophet, an evangelist prophet with prophetic giftings. You see how I'm putting the titles together because sometimes they're meshed. For those who have this, it is important that you live in this environment of the prophetic. Many prophets and prophetess and seers and people who are operating the prophetic don't understand it's an environment it's a level where you live in it. And God is wanting people to, to, to jump into this space. Remember, this isn't just because of you and your life. Oh no, you're on a grander timepiece, a mega plan of God. I'm telling you, God is raising up prophets. He's raising up people with the sound of a prophetic roar. He's raising them up. He is raising them up. And so God is, has called me to, to usher in this class, okay? How many spots are available? I don't know. I'm gonna see how many people are willing to, or, or who are gonna be a part of this, and I'll go from there. Like I said, it could be a three-part class. This could go up to six classes. It really just depends how, how far deep and how much we go with this. These, these classrooms are gonna be very heavy. We're going to go through scripture. I'm going to be sharing even prophetic messages um, that I receive from God personally just for this. There will be words from the Lord personally just for this that I won't be sharing with others or any classes um, or any other type of live stream or anything. And it's really going to put people in a space where they can navigate in their prophecies, in their prophetic giftings, in the graces of the Lord of prophesying so much easier. It's going to make it not a visit, but a habitation, a habitation. Um, so please be looking out for my post today. Please be looking out for this. Um, please take a vote, okay, for the time on Saturday, and then we'll go further with the classes. Um, I know Saturday will be a day. I may do a Tuesday and I may do another day, maybe Thursday next week. We'll see. But um, we're going to play it by ear for the first class and see how it goes and then keep going. Um, this class is going to continue until it's finished, regardless, and it's free. Okay, I'm not charging people for this. The Zoom does cost. Um, I do have to have a subscription for that, but hopefully the one I have is going to be just fine. If you want to support, if you want to sow a seed, if you want to give unto this class, sure, by all means do so. I always ask that whoever gives, please don't just give for a ministry. No, please, if you're gonna give, which is also received, speak into the seeds. Exercise your prophetic gifting already. Hold the Holy Spirit's hand and say, God, what do I speak into this seed of sowing? What is it that you want to birth in my life that I need? God, I speak this into this seed now. Get quiet, get still, get alone with the Holy Ghost and say, what is it that you want me to give into this? What is What needs to birth out of my life? What needs to be straightened so I can go straight forward for you, Christ? I mean, let's take this to the next level. Let's take this to the next level. I love you guys. Wait for my post. I'll see you guys at the Zoom class. Bye.